Hi everyone and welcome to this weekly horoscope for all signs of the zodiac. My name is Gregory Scott. I'm an astrologer, tarot reader, intuitive and numerologist. I live in Glastonbury in England and I do these horoscopes every week. They are for all signs of the zodiac. So whether you're a sun sign Aries or a sun sign Libra or Sagittarius, it doesn't matter. What I look at is what the planets are doing up in the sky at the moment what energy they create and how that's going to affect all signs of the zodiac here on planet earth. So it really doesn't matter if you're sun sign um, Aquarius. I look at what's going on right now and I look at how you can make the most of each day. So if the energy is somewhat funky then we look at how to make the most of that funky energy. The key words I got for this week are potency and impotence. So it's a key week to feel strong at certain times and other times to feel like things are out of your control and you're powerless. So it's important to know which are which. Bear in mind my horoscopes are based on UK time. So Monday the 20th of April we've got the moon going into Aries at 1 minute past 7 in the morning immediately gives you a sense of revving your wheels and like you can do things. Aries is the first sign of the zodiac, it's fire, it's the ram, it, let's go do it. The Aries moon conjuncts Chiron in Aries. Chiron is the wounded healer and Chiron can be a part of your chart that's often very difficult. It's a difficulty in your life, it's like a wound. But once it's healed it can become a great strength. So it depends on where you are with this because the moon and Chiron sit right on top of each other. And the moon also makes friends with Saturn, structure and stability, that's an Aquarius. So it's a good recipe here on Monday the 20th. You really feel a great sense of energy, drive and purpose at the start of the week here on Monday. You, no Monday motivation is needed at all really. You look forward to what you can get done on this day and what you can get done in the week and you do feel that sense of potency of being able to take control and make things happen and to do things. On Tuesday the 21st of April the Sun is in Taurus. Happy birthday Taurus! And that Sun squares Saturn in Aquarius. So when the Sun, identity and structure, is at odds with Saturn, really this is your foundation. It's not good. They don't like being at odds with one another because your identity and what you build your identity on, they need to be congruent, they need to be friends for you to be able to function properly. The Aries moon also conjuncts Mercury in Aries, so the communication planet in Aries saying go, 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 go. And it's sextile, so another friendly relationship. Mars, the ambition planet in Aquarius, and Venus, the female planet, in Gemini. All those personal planets are saying let's run around, let's make love, let's have a good time, let's talk, let's gossip. And the Taurus Sun being at odds with Saturn and Aquarius is like what are we doing? So Tuesday April 21st it's a strange day. It may make you feel suffocated unless you can get out from all the things that seem to be getting on top of you. You know like your identity and your foundation now suddenly being at odds with one another and you're like, am I coming or going? So quick thinking is supported on this day because of Mercury and Aries. So if you need to get yourself out of a sticky situation that you're in verbally, that's where you can put your energy towards talking and being able to influence other people through what it is you're saying. You can talk your way out of anything on, on Tuesday. But what's strange is that if you don't do that, you feel suffocated and like, I can't talk at all. So it's an extreme day going from one extreme to the other. So impotence, oh, I just sit here and can't do anything. Or potency, even though all these things are on top of me, I'm still going to go out with my friends, I'm still going to have fun, I'm still going to enjoy my life. So go with the second, go with communication and letting go of the official and the things that are 
really the responsibilities that weigh heavily on you in life and Tuesday try and lighten things up for yourself on Wednesday April 22nd we have the moon going into Taurus at 7.37 in the evening. So the moon going into Taurus is now in the bull. It's no more let's break down doorways. It's like let's chill. Let's smoke a hookah. Let's look at our shiny diamonds and let's just make love. <laughs> so the moon in Taurus, fabulous. It squares Saturn and Aquarius. So this moon now is not friendly with Saturn. Saturn isn't really buddies with anybody this week. And that's not good because Saturn... Is really our friend Saturn is the person who says you're really gifted as a musician and I don't like you going off and um, throwing your whole career away and working at something it's the planet that reminds us of what we really can achieve uh, people fear Saturn return it's not something to be afraid of. It's something that shows you the truth of what you can do. And that then usually involves change. And that's where most people don't put the legwork in because change is, is hard. So the moon at odds with Saturn, but it conjuncts the sun in Taurus. So the moon, the way you feel and your identity there friends at the moment. So Wednesday is a really fabulous day to feel at ease, to enjoy yourself, to enjoy your creature comforts, family, friends, everything that you've built up around you. You feel supported even if you're not. So if you're not, you have a good feeling. Go out and create what you want to. If you want to feel supported by a network of friends, go build that network. If you want to feel supported by friends and family around you, great friends and family. It's a really good day to get started doing that. You know, the you can see the current situation from two different angles. I have heard people saying my marriage has been healed and I've got other people saying the marriage is dissolved because of this isolation. The job is valued even more or I'm completely going in a different direction. It's a huge time of change. So Wednesday is the one day where you can really just enjoy this weirdness and feel at ease and you can create what it is you want to create so you feel potent again on Wednesday. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, it's all about potency. It's about doing what it is you think is right, communicating about what you think is important and then enjoying what it is you want to enjoy. All of that is you taking control. On Thursday, the 23rd of April, we've got the new moon in Taurus at 25 minutes past three in the morning in the UK. And a new moon happens every month. It's when the sun and the moon sit together, they conjunct each other. The moon is pitch black and it pulls in energy. So I'll go into more detail in the separate video, but what the new moon does on Thursday, it pulls loads of Taurus energy into your system, which makes you even more cozy at home. The moon also squares Mars and Aquarius, so it's like, no, we're not buying anything, no running, please, no doing cartwheels. We're quite chill lying on this shed long. Thank you very much. So Thursday, it's about being leisurely and enjoying the pleasure that Taurus can give you. You'll be very interested in suiting yourself and your own needs. <laughs> everyone will. So if everyone suits themselves and their own needs, there's the potential for arguments occurring today, but also on the other side, the potential to completely indulge yourself and to enjoy your life and those people who are in it. So this is a wonderful start it's a great day to start a new business. I know socially it's not the best time to start a new business, but oh yeah, I was saying that some things have created, made things closer and other things have brought things apart. Like I go to meetings and there was a meeting in Didsbury in Manchester that I always went to on a Saturday night. And yesterday I was able to attend that because of Zoom and I saw people I hadn't seen in five years. So it's really it is what you make of it. 
And Venus, the planet of love and beauty, that goes retrograde on the 13th of May, not this month, not this week, okay? 13th of May until the 26th of June. I've talked about those in the monthly horoscopes for each sign of the zodiac for May 2020. Check those out. Those are up already. Venus retrograde is dire, okay? So it's anything that you love, new beginnings. So if you want to start your business, look ahead to May and realize that Venus is in retrograde from the 13th until the 26th of June. And that's when you should be having a time out anyway. So this is the time where socially you're being forced to have a time out. But personally, you can decide to actually say, no, this is now beginning an online business that I'm starting. Bear that in mind, Thursday, again, potency, huge potency. Friday the 24th. The moon in Taurus squares Mars and Aquarius. They're still at odds. Mars says, I want you to talk publicly. The moon in Taurus says, I want to chill and eat bonbons. <laughs> the moon is now trining. So it forms a harmonious relationship with Jupiter, the lucky planet, and Pluto, transformation and change, in Capricorn. And the moon sextile, so it's friends with Neptune in Pisces as well. Neptune is the water planet, dreams and spirituality and fantasy. And Friday is another day where you completely feel comfortable doing your own thing. If you struggle being alone or struggle with being alone, you can revel in it today and enjoy life's many pleasures that are available to you on your own. I always find it unfathomable when people tell me, oh, I've never been to the cinema on my own. If, I mean, if I use that rule, like you don't go to the cinema at all, I wouldn't have watched the film in the last 20 years. <laughs> so we make the rules for ourselves. We don't listen to what society says about us. Because if I listen to what society said about me, I would have been six feet under 16. So sometimes it's really important to say, no, I'm not doing that. I, regardless what everyone else thinks, I'm making myself the minority and I'm thinking differently because I think for myself. So again, real luxury and indulgence on Friday, but with that comes other people also wanting the same thing and treading on each other's toes and possibly things can become a bit combustible with everyone wanting, wanting, wanting and there could be arguments about not wanting or not getting what you want. So if there is a situation like that, take the high road and say, okay, you have it. There's more than enough to go around. You'll find something else. Don't get into arguments with people on Thursday and Friday. It's not worth it. The way to make the most of it is to enjoy your own company and to really revel in your solitude and to revel in doing things by yourself that make you happy. It's like, what do I deserve today? I deserve a nice diamond bracelet if you have the money. That kind of thinking is really important. Now on Saturday, the 25th of April, we have the moon going into Gemini at 21 minutes past seven in the morning. Pluto, planet of death, and rebirth, transformation and change, the phoenix rising from the ashes and completely transforming. That goes retrograde until September. So it's an outer planet. We usually, the personal planets are Mars, Venus, ne um, Mars, <laughs> Mars, Venus, Mercury. Communication, love, ambition. The outer planets, Jupiter, Neptune, Pluto, Saturn, the outer planets and they usually spend about six months in retrogrades every year so we can't really build our lives around these retrogrades but it is important on the day because when Pluto goes retrograde on Saturday the 25th the transformation and change that's going to occur for you excuse me comes from within so it's the, the firebird that you see inside of yourself that is emerging. It's not someone else's firebird. 
by fire bird i mean your ultimate dream life your potential that amazing transcendence of all your problems and living that life that you've always hoped and dreamed of and we have to have hopes and dreams otherwise we can't go on and even you may ask well what if my hopes and dreams are completely unreasonable and it's really likely that it's not going to happen well there are always exceptions to the rule if you stick with your dreams and you don't give up on them i promise you you'll get them whatever we focus on in life we get if it's in another shape than we originally thought of maybe but we always end up getting it so with Pluto going into retrograde, just realize I am malleable and teachable. I can fit this round peg into any square hole. I can adapt my, I can adapt myself to do anything. I am, even if I'm 80 years old, I can make this the first day of the rest of my life. So Saturday, the t April 25th, time to put on the brakes and to close your lovely mouth and your lovely voice. Try and use that in reserve or use it cautiously on Saturday. You may go off on a rant or a rave that's built up over the last two days with arguments. Um, or if you're seeking approval from other people or if you're fishing for compliments, any kind of behavior like that where you want something from other people, forget it. It's not going to happen. Pluto is about transformation inwards. So it's even the most hopeless, like if you feel completely hopeless in life, it's the time to start again. It's really beautiful. This is grace. It's like something divine that we get. The hope returns inside of us. It's hope returns for people who've lost hope. That's why I say it's so important. And false hope, I feel, is better than real hope because false hope always turns into real hope and real things when you stick with them and manifest them. So there's no such thing as false hope, in my opinion, because you, as, as long as you stick with it, you'll manifest it. And in, if you have this false hope that you're going to be America's number one superstar, you never give up on that, even though you can't sing or act. You never give up on it. You'll end up as the America's number one something. You will. Comedian, tap dancer, whatever. You will. And other people are going to say, don't you think it's time to give up? And Saturday and Sunday is where the impotence comes in. This is where you feel I don't have control over my life. But the hope returns. You can shed your skin like we do with our bodies, I think every seven years, the whole system is made up of new cells and the other ones have died. So it's normal to change. The only thing that doesn't change on planet Earth is, I don't know, there's nothing is static. If you don't change, you die. I learned that in biology in school. So unsurprisingly, on Sunday, April 26th, it's kind of similar. We have Mercury and Aries still squaring the lucky planet Jupiter in Capricorn. So it's your need to articulate what you really, really feel that causes friction with good luck and good fortune. So reading between the lines, there's a lot of negativity coming out the seams somehow. And rather than doing that, it's about finding ways for you to progress independently. The people who are going to be most frustrated this week are the ones who want other people to do things for them. Because those people are going to be interested in themselves. The sun is in Taurus. It conjuncts Uranus in Taurus. And I wanted to make a separate video on Uranus and Taurus because last time Uranus was in Taurus, it was in the Great Depression in America. It was, and I think 1939, it was still in retrograde. I'll have to look it up. But Uranus is chaos when it comes to finances. And I was hoping that it was going to be good chaos. But with this thing we are going through right now, you can see the economy and how chaotic that's been. Good thing, I suppose, about Uranus is that it bounces back. You never know what to expect and it will bounce back. 
But the fact that the sun is sitting on that makes Sunday very unpredictable. Uranus is in Taurus, so in an earthy practical way. And the Gemini moon conjuncts Venus in Gemini. So they're very chatty and very happy together. So as on Saturday, there could be major rows and upheavals because you're stomping your feet and you demand what you want and you want to get what you want when you get it. And that's not really very productive in general, but it's uber non-productive in the current climate. You have to be somewhat compromising. You're going to have an even stronger need on Sunday to, to let people have a piece of your mind. It's like, okay, enough now. I'm just going to let them have it. I'm going to get this person off their high horse. It's, it's high time someone told these, this girl the truth about who she really is. It is not your job to bring other people down. Let life take care of that for you, okay? Life will do that. What goes around comes around. It's not your job to educate people. It's not your job to say you can't extort money from people because it's morally wrong and disgraceful because that person will only change when they want to change. And it's interesting that what's come out in this weekly horoscope is the message that we as human beings can change. We're not doomed to some miserable future unless we accept it. As long as we're able to hope and see a bright light at the end of the tunnel, there will be a bright light. It's all down to us. If, we, if you realize how much power you have to create your own life the way you want it, you'd be staggered. Really, you'd be staggered. We don't get away with anything on planet Earth because of the spiritual laws that are in place. So if you spread the negativity by taking someone down today, expect to be taken down yourself. I would try and be as teachable and as open-minded over the weekend as possible and look at Pluto, the transformation inwards. So rather than talking a lot about just nothing, I would, yeah. I would um, keep down my lovely, lovely voice and I would look within and say, what is it that you really want to do over the next 10 years or five years or whatever it is? It's a wonderful opportunity to realize, wow, me as a human being, I can change. I can reincarnate as something totally different. And that's, a, that's an amazing opportunity to have. So even though Saturday, Sunday feels like impotent in the sense of you against other people, you're completely potent when it comes to transforming yourself and that's real power. So it seems like the power is at the beginning of the week. Yes, it is Monday through Friday because you're able to get everything done the way you want it. But Saturday and Sunday is long term power because you're really making yourself vulnerable and saying this is the person I end up being. And that's what you then do. So congrats. It's an amazing week to look forward to. I hope you have a wonderful time. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch with me via the website, gregoryscott.com. I also um, do chart rectifications and I do a tarot course on that. The chart rectifications is if I do a personal reading for you, I draw up your astrology chart, okay? And I need your place of birth, date of birth, and time of birth. If you don't have the time of birth, then order a chart rectification on the website, please. That's a process where I work out your time of birth and it's really important because the chart changes every four minutes and it makes it much more accurate. So you just give me 10 or more major life events and I can work out your time of birth. Check out the website. If you like this video, please hit subscribe and share it online. Have a wonderful week and I will speak to you next week. All the best.